dust, the dirt, the trash. It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. So TikTok superstar Charlie D'Amelio and her mom are going head-to-head, toe-to-toe, dancing with the stars. They were both cast in it. Aww. That's never happened before, I don't think. Um, I think it'll be cool. She's a really great dancer. Of course, she's gotten better since she's... I mean, that one TikTok that she made, I was like, this is it. This is what blew her up. And then she obviously ran with it. They've had real reality TV shows. They've had... CDs and Starbucks drinks named after them. I mean, talk about running with it. They did and uh, still making money. So they're going to join season 31. She's already danced with Derek Huff, so everybody's assuming that maybe she'll that'd she'll be, go with him. That'd be unfair, though. I agree. You know, pre-existing they always relationship. put like the like the are like good dancers with the best dancers, and it doesn't make any sense. No. You know? Yeah. But listen, anyways. I, I, it's just a reminder, by the way, not on ABC anymore. Yeah, it's uh, streaming, right? Disney Plus only. Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, Vanessa Bryant um, won the uh, the trial. From, um, she got $16 million from L.A. County. Yeah. And she's actually, to, and everybody, you know, I was like, what is she going to do with that money? She says, she doesn't need the money. Well, she's donating $16 million, the whole thing that she won to the Mamba and Mamba Sita Foundation. So... Pretty awesome there. Gross. Good for her. I, the whole thing's gross, and she whole, had to do it. So, and they said that, and, and that's what she said too. She's like, "We never. This was not for the money. This was like, you need to get your act together. Yeah. There needs to be better training. There needs to be like harder um, consequences for yep. people messing up like that. I mean, those are people's family members. So, um, that's really awesome, and and I'm happy for her and her family. Um, I am. Ecstatic. It, this just was released. Uh, let's see just how many minutes night. ago. Well, li- late last night. But then this article just posted a couple minutes ago that Britney Spears, Elton John's uh, Hold Me Closer is number one already. It's number one on the charts. Uh, this is the biggest comeback. I mean, come on, one year ago, she was in a conservatorship and not able to do anything. And now she is number one with Elton John on iTunes. And the song is number one in 35 countries, including already. England already. It just dropped midnight. It's only seven o'clock in the morning here, 10 East Coast. And man, number one. I'm excited to hear it in its entirety. I didn't listen because I wanted to do it with everybody else. Let's do it now. Let's hold hands. <laughs> Here we go. I'm a fan. I think she sounds awesome. That, I'm sorry. That's outstanding. That's so good. That's really good. It's so good. So she tweeted last night. I got on Instagram this morning to see what she said, but she has deactivated that account. But on Twitter uh, last night, she said, okie dokie. <laughs> my first song <laughs> my first song in six years. Well, okie okay, doke. It's pretty damn cool <laughs> that I'm singing with one of the most classic men of our time. Uh, I'm kind of overwhelmed. It's such a big deal to me. And I think it's a big deal to to a lot of people, all of her fans. Um, but honestly, I, I don't know if, if we're just kind of sliding on this. Brilliant move on Ellen John's part. Brilliant move it, to reach out perfect. to her. Yep. And uh, he released, what, Cold Cold Heart with Dua Lipa? Last, yes. Was it last year? Cold Heart, yeah, yeah. Another that was track. a massive hit. Another great He's track. like finding a way to do to do his music with like uh, whether it's up and coming artists or like already established younger artists and smashing it. He some musicians have trouble aging gracefully. That guy, it's too easy. Fantastic. It's way too easy, Elton. John. Fantastic. So big fan, big uh, fan.